Hi, this is Tyler Williams. I'm agronomist with the Foreground by Bayer. We're here with uh, Sean Arthur, Regional Sales Manager with Environmental Tillage Systems. So, good to have you. Yeah, I'm happy to be here today. Okay, so as we start to think about planting time, things start coming up. Um, you know, what's what's the best way um, for someone to start get that that strip till ready to go? Kind of manage that residue as they're coming into strip till here this spring. Yeah, getting questions about how to prepare that field for the spring planting season, something that we get from a lot of guys and. For some customers, we talk about that starting back in the fall. Some of our customers are doing strips in the fall season with the intention of coming and planting directly into those um, without even freshening them. Other guys are considering maybe freshening that strip up, while there's other customers that are still using the springtime as that initial pass to go across the field. So as I'm working with somebody trying to learn more about their operation, I try to ask a lot of questions to understand what their goals are for the, their workload that they have on their operation, when they wanna be doing that tillage, uh, that strip till pass, and what's gonna work best for them. If somebody is going to be making that pass in the spring, uh, it's important to be respecting the soil moisture conditions that we've got out there, because we are going to be doing tillage to prepare that strip. So we wanna make sure that we've got um, not an abundance of moisture out there because that can be causing some problems that'll linger for the rest of the year. So it sounds like sort of the soil conditions in spring kind of dictate when some of that needs to happen. Yeah, anytime that you're making a pass across the field, it seems like soil moisture is gonna be one of the biggest barometers that we have to use. So if we don't want things to be too wet because uh, that can cause some smearing or compaction uh, from the weight of the tractor and the soil warrior, and then the tillage that we're doing too can cause some stuff that lingers around the rest of the year. Even though our uh, row unit is set up with coulters, that's gonna be the most common configuration we have. Those coulters do a nice job of cutting and mixing even when conditions get wet, but ideally we'd like things to wait a little bit longer so that we don't have an abundance of soil moisture. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of that balance of getting it at the right time, but yet giving yourself a, 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 you know, enough planting period up ahead. So from the, the seedbed prep standpoint, we kind of hit that residue piece, which is all kind of get to that seedbed prep or any other considerations that think about maybe even from those those two pass operations of you know any anything to think about from that seedbed seedbed prep standpoint well, one of the main benefits that you can get out of uh, strip tillage is you, you're you picking up efficiencies with the amount of passes that you have going across the field. So if we can reduce that down to a single operation like we have here with our soil warrior where we are preparing the soil by mixing up the, opening up the soil, mixing that fertilizer into it and doing that in a single pass, that's a great efficiency that you can pick up on the farm. So being able to do that in the spring while we're applying the fertilizer, it's, it's a fun, a great way of being able to do it. Okay. So you, so you mentioned fertilizer, and, and I know a lot of people that, that, that that's one of the biggest benefits they can get out of this, right, is that time savings, apply that fertilizer. What can you say about, you know, that springtime fertilizer application, or even maybe talk about something they might have done in the fall, but what's that, what's that fertilizer application look like from, uh, you know, maybe a, a product and amount standpoint and even timing? Yeah. Uh the fertilizer rates that we can apply with our Soil Warrior, I mean, we could hit anything from a zero rate up to an aggressive build rate for a fertility program. So we're gonna work closely with a local uh, agronomist to make sure that we're understanding what the goals are on that farm. Uh, what the, when the rates are established for what we wanna be putting out there, that's where the Soil Warrior can really shine because we have the variable rate technology that can change the rate as we're going across the field. Um, just to geo-referencing that because of the prescription and make sure that we're putting the right amount of nutrients out there. Having the uh, Soil Warrior with multiple fertilizer bins on it allows us to put out multiple products. So you could be putting down a potash, a phosphate. Um, each one of those can be variable rated as you go and get quite aggressive with the rates if you do want to be putting a lot of fertilizer out there. Uh, handling the fertilizer up in the Soil Warrior system and then delivering it back to the row units where some of the magic starts to happen. The row units that we have are able to do such a nice job of mixing that completely through the, soil, the zone that we're creating. So you have the fertilizer mixed vertically and horizontally into that root zone so that throughout the growing season, that plant is gonna be able to really absorb those nutrients. And because we're mixing it into that entire zone, that allows us to put some rates out there that are still somewhat safe. We don't have to be worrying about high fertilizer rates really damaging the crop because we're putting it into such a big area. So that is something that really differentiates us, the way that we can mix that so thoroughly into the entire zone. So Sean, what can you tell us about this uh, Soil Warrior system? Yeah, well here at Environmental Tillage Systems, we are focused 100% on strip tillage. This is something we've been doing for 20 years and it's a practice that we wholeheartedly believe in. Uh, the Soil Warrior is the machine that we've created and we've built durability into this and built it to a machine that a farmer can rely on season after season to be able to apply fertilizer and create strips that are going to be the fundamental uh, base for their entire farming operation. By properly preparing the soil, 
and mixing that fertilizer into it, you have a seed bed that is like nothing else in the industry to be able to grow your crop and make sure that you're reaching those high yields. What can you tell us about this uh, collaboration? I think it's a great opportunity for a grower. I mean, as we're working with a customer and they're considering putting strip till onto their farm, we appreciate the opportunity to sit down and figure out what soil warrior is gonna be best for their operation. What's gonna work on their farm, what's gonna fit for the practices that they want to achieve. And when they're implementing that practice of strip tillage, it's nice to have some resources behind that to allow them to help make the decision that's gonna be best. So having this collaboration with Foreground allows that grower to get a credit onto their account with Soil Warrior. So when they choose the machine that's gonna be right for their farm, it's nice to have that, that dual benefit where they're actually getting a credit to help fund that too. Well, thanks, Sean. Appreciate the, the, the information on, on your system here. And as people start to think about here at the springtime, getting their getting planners ready to go and it's almost go time here soon so uh, again thanks for the time and uh, thanks great to hear about uh, ETS and their system